Hello, I wanted to share with you today um, the most efficient way I found to vectorize a um, bitmap image um, all on the iPad um, from Procreate. So I'm just going to pick an image that I have made here. This is a coloring book, basic line art. And I go up to my tool and hit share. Um, I'm going to save it as a PNG. Save the image just to my camera roll. Then close Procreate. Open up Adobe Capture. And down here I have a camera roll. I can open up my camera roll, then select the image I just saved. Here it is. And then I can adjust it. I like to slide up, makes it nice and dark. And then go over here to contrast and see how the contrast makes it. I like black lines that are, you know, a little bold, I guess. So anyway, I save it. And then smooth it out. And once it's done, I save it again. And I close this screen so I can go back to my saved image. Here it is. And my little options here for that one, I can export it as an SVG. So there we get a vectorized file, save it to my files. I'm just going to save it to any file that I can remember where it is. Alright, and I'm done with Adobe Capture. And I open up Vectornator, which is awesome. Free, um, free app. Love it. Go over here to the, this is the opening page here, Add. Go to your cloud or you search for your file there. I find my file shape 25 there. And there's my file that was a bitmap just a minute ago and it's now a fully vectorni vectorized vectorized <clears throat> image and here's where I can touch it up if I want and use my tools and clear up some areas that might be too thick or <clears throat> or just unclear maybe what they are and just kind of touch it up around so I'll just go around touching this up and when I'm done I save it again and this time I can I'm going to save it as a PDF and you can rename it I don't need to name it and then save it again uh, to your files. And I've got some final files here that are totally done. And that's how I keep track of those. And that's it. That is how you can do like a bitmap trace if you're replacing, if you don't want to use um, Illustrator. Um, and save some money, do it the free way. And also you don't have to get on your computer on your desktop. So that's pretty convenient. You can do it all from your iPad. So I hope this helps you artists out there. Enjoy your drawing.